Okay, this is Colton from whiplashpc.com. Today we have the M5A, uh, I believe it's a 97 AM3 Plus motherboard from ASUS. This is the BIOS, uh, the UEFI BIOS. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that can't possibly be a BIOS because that's what I was thinking at first too, but it actually is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get closer here so you guys can see everything. Shows the temperature of the CPU. It's virtual. It's almost like Windows, but um, it's not. Shows you the CPU voltage, shows you everything like that. CPU fan speed, chassis fan speed, power fan speed, and everything else like that. Down there, it's a place where you can choose if you want your motherboard to be as least saving energy as possible to have the most performance. Right now I have it on mid-range, so it's saving energy, and it's also got some of the performance. There's a power saving mode. I'm not using that right now. Right here is a little chart that shows you what I'm using right now. Right now I have the quietness enabled, the performance is up very pretty decent on the medium, and the energy saving. Uh, down here is the boot disk priority. This is all accessible by mouse or keyboard. You can choose to boot instantly just by touching that with your mouse. Like if you click on the hard drive, it will boot off the hard drive. Say you have a Windows XP installation on another hard drive, you would go down here it will tell you, let me see if I can do that for you. Oh, where's my mouse? I can't seem to find my mouse, so I'll use my keyboard. Down here, it tells you what hard drive it is. You can click that, and you'll boot right in. Before I leave, I'll show you that. Um, but up here, this is the basic menu. You can get out of here and go to Exit and Advanced. You click that. Now we're heading over here to Advanced Mode. This is similar to the older BIOS, except for it's crazy. Um, I haven't really got a chance to mess around with it yet, so I'm just going to try to take you through it here as fast as possible. It'll probably be like a three or four minute video. Um, it shows your processor, your total RAM. I have 8 gigs of DDR3, 1333 memory. I'm just going to zoom out here so you guys can see it a bit more. It might not be the clearest thing, but I'll try to keep it as clear as possible. This is AI Tweaker. This is where you can overclock everything. As you can see, it has auto, and you can switch that to manual. If you do, it releases this down here which is your CPU bus frequency and your PCI Express frequency. Uh, I don't want it overclocked, so I'm going to hit auto. And CPU ratio stays at auto. Um, down here, you just keep on rolling. And there's really just a bunch of voltage settings. It's like the older BIOS, except for it's crazy and new. Uh, this is the advanced settings, CPU configuration. Cool and quiet is enabled on this one. And over here on the Northbridge setup, and uh, we got the memory configuration. We can go in there for a second. On the memory configuration, we have break interleaving and all channel interleaving and whole remapping. Just a bunch of stuff that I don't really feel like messing with because I'm not 100% sure what it means and what it is. But as you can see, SATA 1 and SATA 2, they're all SATA 6 gigabyte ports, might I add. I have a CD ROM and a 500 gig Western Digital hard drive. <coughs> The USB configuration is uh, legacy enabled. As you can see, it's just pretty basic. Don't want to keep you guys here forever because you guys can check this out later. But uh, onboard device, it shows you that the USB 3.0 controller is enabled. The Realtek LAN controller is just, uh, enabled. I'm not sure what an OPROM is, but that's disabled. And you just keep on rolling. ENP ready, or ERP ready, I should say, is enabled. The monitor is the temperature monitor. Right now, my CPU is running at 54C. Motherboard temperature is at a 33C. And it just goes down through the voltages and goes through that. <coughs> kind of losing my voice there. But um, on the boot lock up, uh, boot up, num lock state is on. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it just goes through a bunch of settings. Like I said, it's similar to that. This is where the boot option priorities is. Uh, you click that. You can choose whether you want to boot. Right now, I disabled my CD-ROM because I don't need it enabled on the boot sequence, and it still is enabled once you get in there. Asus Easy Flash Utility is still there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I guess it shows you what your memory is and what timing it is. But the Asus Overclock Profile, as you can see, you can save that up there. That's what your overclock setting or just whatever you want set up. It will save it to there. And then from there you can load it if something ever happens and you need to redo it. But I'm going to go ahead and discard changes and exit setup. And I'm going to show you 
that thing I was talking about where you can choose what hard drive you want to boot off of instantly. It's a really nice BIOS. Um, I haven't got too much. Uh, I haven't got too much testing on it yet, but I'm um, getting used to it. And it's completely different, so it's going to take some getting used to. It looks a lot nicer though, and I'm sure it's going to be very easy for people that have never messed around in BIOS. Except for I'm so used to the old BIOS that I can't keep teach an old dog new tricks. I guess you can say. Okay, I lost video for a second there. I'm going to show you now how to boot if you uh, have two hard drives and what, say one has XP, one has Windows 7. Well you need to get to XP obviously eventually in your hard drive otherwise you wouldn't have it so you're gonna go down here and press boot menu. Okay um, up here you'll see that I have a CD-ROM and a hard drive. Well but let's pretend that the uh, CD-ROM is Windows XP and this one is Windows 7 because it is you're gonna go ahead and click on let's say Windows 7, I want to boot into Windows 7 and ta-da we are actually booting in to Windows just like that but um, as you can see this could be very handy and you don't have to go change your boot sequence just because you want to boot off something you can just click it and you will be in there hey thanks for viewing this video if you liked it I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up below and subscribe above thank you okay.